In this video, we are going to learn De Morgan's theorem. But before we start with De Morgan's theorem, the first and the most important thing is to know why this De Morgan's theorem is very important and useful in digital electronics. The most important thing about De Morgan's theorem is simplification of Boolean expression. The simplification of Boolean expression is very crucial in digital electronics. Here, the expression must be simplified for implementation in hardware. And this is done to reduce number of logic gates used to represent any Boolean expression. On the other hand, one of the direct benefit of De Morgan's theorem is in the design of logic circuits using universal gates. Since the NAND and NOR gates can be used to construct any logic functions, De Morgan's theorem are instrumental in translating a circuit diagram into a diagram that solely used universal gates, where the simplicity and uniformity of gates are prioritized for the easy manufacturing process. Using De Morgan's theorem, engineers can often find more efficient arrangement of gates that reduce the overall power consumption, increases operational speed, and decreases the physical size of the circuit. So this optimization is crucial in modern electronics, where power efficiency is one of the key goals. So these are the few importance of De Morgan's law for digital electronics. And after knowing this, now it's time to jump for the De Morgan's theorem. These are the two laws of De Morgan's theorem. The first law states that the complement of an end operation between two variables is equal to the OR operation between the complements of two variables. Again, I am repeating the same thing. The complement of an AND operation between two variables is equal to the OR operation between the complements of two variables. And the second law states that the complement of an OR operation between two variables is equal to the AND operation between the complements of two variable. Again repeating this, the complement of an OR operation between two variables is equal to the AND operation between the complements of each variable. So these are the two laws of De Morgan's theorem and now we'll start with the first law. So this is the first law where complement of AND operation of two variable which is equal to the OR operation of complement of two variable. Now there are different ways to prove any theorem. One of the ways, you can derive RHS from LHS or vice versa. Or you can derive RHS equal to something and LHS equal to the same thing. But here, we are going to do it using the truth table. Here, we will compare the result of LHS and RHS using truth table. And then we will check the De Morgan's theorem. So here, first we will start with LHS and logical equivalent circuit to this LHS is this. Let's say this is our A, it is our B. So A dot B will get over here. And to get complement of this A dot B, we'll use this NOT gate. So using this combinational circuit, we'll get A dot B is bar. Now you can further simplify this circuit. You can represent this circuit by NAND gate. A, B and A dot B bar. Now we'll draw logical circuit for the right hand side. So the logical circuit is like this. This is our A, this is our B. So basically we want A bar and B bar and that is why we have used two NOT gate. So here we'll get A bar and here we'll get B bar. And then we want to add them together. So we use OR gate. So we'll add A bar plus B bar. So finally, we'll get this in our result. And you can further represent this circuit as two input bubble door gate. A, B, A bar plus B bar. So by observing this circuit, we can say that the output of NAND gate is similar to the output of two input bubble door gate. And now it's time to prove this theorem. So for that, here we have a truth table. It is our A b a dot b and from this a dot b we'll get a dot b is bar this is our a bar this is our b bar and this is the addition of a bar plus b bar 
and the equivalent circuit to this are like this. Here is our A dot B bar and here is our A bar plus B bar. These are our two inputs A, B, A and B. So here this is our A, this is our B. So now first of all let's find A dot B. So 0 dot 0 gives us 0, 0 dot 1 gives us 0, 1 into 0 gives us 0 and 1 into 1 gives us 1. Now from this A dot B we'll find A dot B's bar. So the complement of 0 is 1. The complement of 0 is 1 and the complement of 1 is 0. So finally we get A dot B's bar. Now for this section when A is 0 A bar is 1. Here also when A is 0 A bar is 1. Here A is 1 so A bar is 0. A is 1 so A bar is 0. The same way when B is 0 B bar is 1. B is 1 B bar is 0. B is 0 B bar is 1 and here B is 1 then B bar is 0. So we have got A bar and B bar. Now it's time to add them together. So or operation of A bar and B bar 1 plus 1 gives us 1. 1 plus 0 gives us 1. 0 plus 1 gives us 1. 0 plus 0 gives us 0. So now when we compare these two columns A bar plus B bar and A dot B's bar we can say that both the results are similar. Hence we prove the first law of De Morgan's theorem. Now we'll jump for the next law. This law says the complement of OR operation of two variable will be equal to the end operation of complement of two variable. And to prove this theorem we will use the same fundamental. First of all we'll prepare the circuit for LHS and then we'll prepare the circuit for RHS. So first of all we'll start with the LHS. So we'll draw equivalent circuit to LHS. So here we have equivalent circuit to LHS, it is our input A, it is our input B. So here we will get A plus B, this section. And once we get this section then we want to complement the result of this addition. So we will use NOT gate and finally we will get A plus B's bar. If we want to draw equivalent circuit to this, we can represent it by NOR gate. And now it's time to draw equivalent circuit of RHS. So the equivalent circuit of that is this, it is our input A, it is B, after this NOT gate we will get A bar and B bar and once we are ready with A bar and B bar then we want to do the end operation. So we will use this AND gate and we will get A bar dot B bar. We can further simplify this circuit as this, two input bubbled AND gate. So here we can say the output of NOR gate and the output of two input bubbled AND gate will be same. So now let's jump to verify this theorem. This is our theorem and this is the truth table we are going to use to prove this theorem. It is our A plus B and A plus B bar. It is our A bar, B bar, A bar dot B bar and the equivalent circuit are like this. So this is our two input A, B. So these are the two inputs A, B. And now let's start solving. So here we have A plus B. So 0 plus 0 gives us 0. 0 plus 1 gives us 1. 1 plus 0 gives us 1. And 1 plus 1 gives us 1. Now let's jump to the next column A plus B bar or the complement of A plus B. So this is our A plus B and now here we are going to write the complement of A plus B. So the complement of 0 is 1, complement of 1 is 0. So we get the result of LHS. Now let's jump to solve the circuit of RHS. This is our A and B input. So these are the A and B input. So first of all from this A and B we are going to write A bar and B bar. So now first we will start with A bar. So when A is 0, A bar is 1 and when A is 1, A bar will be 0. Similarly when B is 0, B bar is 1 and when B is 1, 
b bar will be 0 so we are ready with a bar and b bar and now we are going to do the end operation of a bar and b bar so 1 into 1 gives us 1 1 into 0 gives us 0 0 into 1 gives us 0 0 into 0 gives us 0 so this is the result of a bar dot b bar and now when we compare the result of a bar dot b bar with a plus b's bar we can say that all the four results are same and from this we can prove that LHS is equal to RHS or the second law of De Morgan's theorem is true. Basically these two laws are mainly used to convert OR operation into AND operation and AND operation into OR operation. Now in next video we are going to learn the simplification of Boolean expression and that simplification will be done using De Morgan's theorem and other laws of Boolean algebra. So don't miss that interesting part of simplification of Boolean expression. So now let's jump into the next video.